Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make your own custom needlework sampler. This document is 1280 by 720 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. The first step is to create the fabric base to which the stitching will be sewn into. To do this, we'll create a pattern preset. Go to File and New. The width and height will be 10 pixels each. Press Z to call up your magnifier tool and magnify the document. Click on the foreground color and type in 90% for the brightness. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill it with this shade. Call up your rectangular marquee tool and draw out a square near the upper left corner. Then press Shift each time you draw out three more squares near the remaining corners. Click on the foreground color and type in 70% for the brightness. Press Alt or Option plus Delete. Press Control or Command plus Delete to delete the selections. Now draw out four rectangles in these locations and size. Then fill it and delete the selections. Press X to reverse the foreground and background colors. Lastly draw out these selections Fill them with the foreground color and delete the selections. Go to Edit and Define Pattern. We'll name it Sampler. Open your original sampler document. Go to Edit and Fill. Click on the arrow next to Custom Pattern and click on the last thumbnail. This is the pattern we just created. Our entire document is now filled with this pattern. We're ready to set the text. Call up your type tool and click on the character text box. I'm choosing a font called Home Sweet Home which you can download for free at webfontlist.com. Click on the paragraph tab and choose center text. Click back on the character tab and click on the color box. Choose a color and click OK. Click on your document and type out your text. I want to change the color of home so I'll highlight it. Click on the color box and I'll choose a dark red. At this point let's save the present state of this document so we can instantly revert back to it later. Click on the history tab and click on the icon on the right. Click new snapshot. When this window opens click OK. Change the foreground color to black and call up your type tool. Press any letter on your keyboard. We're going to create a brush preset made from just one cross stitch. Call up your magnify tool and drag across a small area. Hide the other layers and call up your rectangular marquee tool. Drag a selection around one of the stitches and go to image and crop. Go to Edit and Define Brush Preset. We'll name it Stitch. In the History panel, scroll up to the top and click on the snapshot we saved earlier. This instantly reverted our Photoshop file back to just before we created our Stitch brush. Press Control or Command plus zero to fill our screen with the entire document. Let's create a curvy border around our sampler. Call up your rounded rectangle tool. Make sure your shape layers icon is highlighted and type in a 75 pixel radius based on the size and resolution of this particular document. Click and drag out a shape and then release. Go to Filter, Distort and Wave. When you see this window click OK. The Wave window will open. The generators is 1, the wavelength is 1 to 60, the amplitude is 1 to 21, the scale is 100%, the type is sine, and repeat edge pixels. In the Layers panel, press Control or Command as you click on the shape layer. This will make a selection of the shape. Open the Paths panel and choose Make Work Path. The default tolerance is 0.5 pixels. Click OK. Open up the Layers panel and trash the shape since we don't need it anymore. Click on the New Layer button to create a new layer. 
Press B to call up your brush tool and F5 to call up your brush presets. Click on the brush stitch preset we created. Click on the folder icon at the top. This opens the brush tip shape window. Make sure none of the brush tip shapes are checked. I'm increasing the spacing to 149%. Click on the foreground color and choose a color for your border. Click on the Paths tab and choose Stroke Path. Make sure your Pencil tool is selected and click OK. I'll close the Brush Presets window. Click anywhere in the empty area in the Paths panel. This hides the work path on your document. Click on the Layers tab and rename the layer Border. Let's stitch in a house. Click on the New Layer button and we'll rename this layer House Box. Let's make some room for the house. Click on the text layer and press V to call up your Move tool. Click and move your text up and center it. Click on the House Box layer and click on your foreground color. I'm clicking on the blue stitching to pick up its color. Press Z to call up your Magnify tool and magnify up the area where we'll be placing our home. Press B to call up your brush tool and click a vertical series of cross stitches. Press Ctrl or Command plus J to make a copy of this vertical row and press V to call up your Move tool. Move the copy to the right. Press Ctrl or Command plus E to merge the two rows together. Make a copy of these two rows and move that copy to the right. Repeat this process one more time so you have eight rows. Press Ctrl or Command as you click on the layer to create a selection of all the cross stitches. Click on the Layer Mask button to create a layer mask of this selection. Click on the layer to make it active and click on the foreground color to choose a color for the door of the house. I'm clicking on the green border to pick up its color. Call up your rectangular marquee tool and drag out a rectangle in the center on the bottom. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the selection with the foreground color. The layer mask is confining the color to the shapes of the stitches. Delete the selection and draw another rectangle for the left window. Press and hold Shift as you draw out the right window. Click on the foreground color and choose a color for the windows. Press Alt or Option plus Delete. Then delete the selections. Click on the New Layer button and we'll rename this layer Roof. I'll choose black for the color and create a shape of the roof. We'll make a new layer and name this Chimney. I'll pick up the color of the red stitch and make the chimney. Let's create a new layer and name it Sun. I'll pick up the color of the window and create a primitive simple sun. Continue adding visual elements around the home using the same process. Have fun creating your own country sampler filled with patterns and motifs that conjure up feelings of a simpler time. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.